All right, here we are, and we're back in the van. It's hey, Sunday. It's Sunday, and we're heading home uh, back to Madison after a pretty fucking badass time in Austin, South by Southwest 2009. What'd you think, Dano? Your first time. Here's the, Dano hasn't been to the festival before, so it's his first time. And let's let's get some words from the new guy. This is all right. Thank you. Ben's been driving the uh, the traffic. Uh, the traffic on the way from Austin to Dallas was fucking insane. Was it not? I mean, how would you describe it? I yes. describe it as the most 15 passenger kidnapper vans I've ever seen in my life on one highway. That's right, because everybody, every, everybody's in a van. And look at the Dallas skyline. Isn't that, that is just terribly exciting and beautiful uh, to know that we're only 18 hours from home now. No, 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 like 16. <laughs> Let's finish up talking about the last time we, we shouted at you, we, we hollered at you, was from the, uh, right before we went to the Go Girl That's show. That's right, no, er, yeah. We made everybody packed up in the van, right? Yep, on our way to trophies. So that was the last time we hollered at everybody. And, uh, boy, I was, I mean, the Go Girl show was a great time. First of all, Adrian and the Sickness were fantastic, they man. Rocks. I mean, they were, I mean, they really were badass. And the girl played in her underwear. And with shoes and socks and everything. I mean, I respect that kind of balls. Um, especially on a girl. Uh, but, you know, she, they did a... They did a great job. The last time we played in underwear was a pair of my father's old ones from Wausau in 2005. And so that was lovely. Who else? Three kisses last night. Oh my god. Yeah, they rock balls as well. They, I mean, Tish and Tony. They really... great. We hadn't seen them since uh, last year at the parlor, which was our last show last year. We did. And um, it sounded really good. They got some new songs that totally rock. A little different lineup. Yeah, it's... and. And in classic fashion, uh, when Tish was headbanging during our set, uh, she knocked her head right into one of the monitors. So if you're watching at home, Tish, get better. I'm glad that they were able to glue up your head and stuff like that. And um, yeah, we hope for you, and especially because the trophy's bathroom, the other thing was, I don't know how you washed your hands, the toilet was overflowed. Uh, the sink was plugged. Right, the sink was plugged, everything. So I don't know, Like I hope they found like some disinfectant wipes or something because I wouldn't want to work in that wound um, with that. I mean, that's like but, the hot zone. That's like Ebola you get from that. Right. But the sweet thing was that Tish, in her style, refused to even put a band-aid on it because she wanted to keep rocking and she was out there even like with blood spilling down her face and everything. It was really amazing. It was a life-threatening good time. Uh, <laughs> who else was good? Um, was the goddess and she, and we didn't know she's from Madison, so shout out to her. Uh, goddess and she, I, I thought I thought there was pretty good rap songs. Had a great song about cunnilingus. Uh, and we ate at a Whataburger. Yeah, we took Dan to his first Whataburger. Blew his fucking mind. Mike, Mike had a near miss at Shamrock and whatever town that was. Yep, that yep, I could have used a young adult diaper for the van. <laughs> We just had a really good time yesterday, hanging out with everybody, Vic and Lalo and uh, Swami and yeah, the gang. Oh, we'll have to send you the links to some everybody, Swami's pictures, they're brilliant. And Dario also got a lot of really good ones, so... Oh yeah, I had my first Swedish massage today. Uh, it was the... <laughs> Swedish. It was my first Swedish massage today. No, it was done by uh, Dario's lady friend, Sabrina, and massaged by Sabrina.com, and... Uh, it was awesome. I think we're just gonna be driving and sleeping. Uh, we'll upload it. We'll uh, holler at you tomorrow from the van. Uh, Sunspot Road Mania episode 90. Bye. Bye, Dallas. Bye. Here comes the rain again as we drive into Wisconsin. We've been going uh, all night long, and yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry little punch truck right now. We've been going all night long and uh, finally have made it back to the Wisconsin area. We're only about uh, 20 minutes outside of Madison right now, about to head home. Anything eventful happened during the night besides the massive amounts of flatulence? Anybody? I didn't beat my pants. That was good. All right. Ben kept it cool. Had a couple of close calls, probably in Missouri. I know I did. Uh, Daniel's almost done with the two towers right here. How's Mordor doing? You there yet? 
Well, uh, Boromir just captured us, and we're headed away from Mordor now, back to Gondor. I understand, yep. And crazy Boromir. And Wendy, how are things going up front? Excellent. Tired. A little bit, little, little bit tired. Can't blame you. Can't blame you. But uh, what an awesome trip. And um, really, the most fun, most fun we had in a long time. And uh, this weekend we're going to do it all again. Friday night we'll be at Malarkey's Pub, and that's in um, Wausau. Saturday night we'll be at the Frequency in Madison, releasing a, a new song, a new, uh, a new three-song disc for everybody. <laughs> Um, can't wait for that. Um, anyway, if you stuck to this entire podcast and watched it since the beginning, it's going to be about 20 minutes long. Uh, thank you, and uh, we appreciate it. And we'll see you next time on Sunspot Road Mania, episode 90. We'll see you next week. How do I?